Let us solve. 3x squared plus 14x minus 24 equals 0 using completing the square. Now, I have a few shapes here in order to help us understand what's going on. Remember, we're going to use a shape now, but the shape is just for understanding what's happening behind the scenes. After you practice quite a number of them and you understand what's really happening, then you can leave out the shapes and you would work a lot faster. Here, what we have is a square that we want to complete. This is the outline of the square. This square consists of a big square, a small square, and two rectangles of the same size. One of them is turned sideways. All right? Each of these rectangles is half of this other rectangle. It's cut straight down in the middle. Okay? So, let us see what's going on. We have 3x squared. We're going to want to have x squared alone. x squared. 1x squared. The reason is because this big square, the, the width of it is x, the height of it is x, so the area of it is x squared, okay? So that's what we're working with. So what we need to do is the I V I D E divide by three. Divide everything by three. When you divide each item by three, three x squared divided by three is x squared plus fourteen x is fourteen over three x minus twenty three twenty four divided by three is what eight equals zero divided by three is zero. All right. Now what we want to do next? is uh, first of all before we do that um, notice this x squared is the shape of this big square here you see the 14 divided by 3 x it is this rectangle this is 14 divided by 3 wide this is the width of this rectangle here 14 over 3 and the x is the height of the rectangle. 14 divided by 3 times x. The width times the height gives you the area of this rectangle. So it's what you have is the area is 14 over 3 x. Right? So notice each of these terms, the x square and the 14 over 3x, they represent the area of a square and a rectangle. Alright. Now, the thing is this. I told you before that this rectangle and this rectangle, they consist of this rectangle cut down the middle, halfway. If we do that, then we have half of 14 over 3, which is 7 over 3, 7 third. So the width of this rectangle, half of this one over here, which is 7 thirds. And the height of this rectangle is also 7 thirds. The area of this rectangle is 7 thirds times x because x is the height of this rectangle and x is the width of this rectangle so this is also 7 thirds x okay now you see this part the 14 thirds is really 7 the 14 thirds x is 7 thirds x plus 
7 thirds x. All right? But let us remain at 14 thirds x. Now we're going to add something to the x squared plus 14 thirds x to complete the square. But let's get rid of the 8 first. U A D D 8. Add 8 to both sides. You have x squared plus 14 thirds x equals 8. When you add 8, negative 8 plus 8, that's gone. No more 8 on the left. 0 plus 8 is 8. You're going to add something here. What you're going to add to complete the square? Let's look at the shape we have. Now, if I take this one side, notice the outline of the square would not be completed because we have something missing. Something should go here. What should go there? This, of course. Alright? You see that? So, here now. This small square, what is the height and the width? It's the same as this here. Right? It's the same as the width of this rectangle. It's 7 thirds. And the height is 7 thirds. So, what's the area? The area is 7 thirds squared. 7 thirds by 7 thirds. So, let's put it there. And put the area of the shape of the square. 7 thirds square. Now, the, this, the, this square would be completed with all four shapes. Now, let's see. What we added there was 7 thirds squared. Now remember, after practicing, you would remember that what you must do, look at the coefficient of x, which is 14 thirds. You half it, and then you square. Alright? So, that's what you do there. You add half the coefficient of x. You add half the coefficient of x. And then you square. That's what you add there, all right? After several practices and tries, and you become skillful at it, you won't need the shapes anymore, right? But the shapes are our training wheels, are our guide, right? After we become very skillful, we won't need it. You, you, you will know what's happening behind the scenes. And you will work much faster without those shapes. But anyway, look at this now. You're going to have something in bracket or square. You know what you're going to have there? Notice. What is the entire width of the completed square? All the way from left to right. You notice this is x plus the x had stopped here, you know, and then you have a 7 thirds. So, it is x plus 7 thirds. And then what is the height? All the way from top to bottom. As you see, it is x and then you have 7 thirds more. So, it is x plus 7 thirds. So, the area of the whole thing is x plus 7 thirds times x plus 7 thirds. So it is x plus 7 thirds r squared. Notice here. The area of the entire thing is x squared plus 14 thirds x plus 7 thirds squared. 
which is x squared plus 7 thirds x plus 7 thirds x plus 7 thirds squared. Notice x squared plus 7 thirds x plus 7 thirds x plus 7 thirds squared. You need all four areas to complete the square. At the same time, it is also x plus 7 thirds times x plus 7 thirds, which is x plus 7 thirds squared. So, all of this is the same thing as this. You see that? So, it's a matter of completing the square with those four shapes. One big square, one small square, and two rectangles of the same size. Alright, hold on. What happened up here now? This 7 third square was not there before, you know. And you added it to the left hand side. So you throw the equation off balance. The left hand side becomes too heavy. So it's tilting to the left. What you must do is whatever you add it to the left, you must add it to the right as well. So you restore balance. So you add 7 third squared to the 8 on the right. So it is 8 plus, what is 7 third squared? 7 squared is 49, over 3 squared is 9. Alright. Now, let me draw a line to divide the work over here. What do you have here? Is x plus 7 third squared equal. Now you're going to have to use your knowledge of fractions to deal with the x plus 49 over 9 part. Now, could use common denominators to work it out. x over 1 plus 49 over 9. If you multiply the 1 by 9. To get common denominators, you have something over 9 plus 49 over 9. And the two numerators, the two things at the top, you just add them together. If you multiply the bottom by 9, you must multiply the top by 9 too. 8, 9, 72. So this is x plus 7 thirds r squared is equal to 72 plus 49 over 9. What is 72 plus 49 again? 72 and 49, 9 and 2, 11, bring down the 9, carry 1, 7 and 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 121, alright, so it's 121 over 9, so what you have is x plus 7 third squared equals 121 divided by 9, no, you must square root the x plus 7 thirds squared. So, what you're going to get? The square root of x plus 7 third squared equals is a positive and negative square root of 121 over 9. Right? Remember, you have to have the positive and negative square root. If you don't know why, you have to put out positive and negative there. You could make a comment about it and I'll make a video explaining why and put a link to the video. Alright, so here now. The square root of x plus 7 thirds squared. The square root of a number squared is going to be just the number itself. It's like the square and the square root cancel each other. So you will have the x plus 7 third remaining undisturbed, all right? Equals, what's the square root of 121 over 9? Uh, square root of, of 121 is 11. 11 times 11. Remember, 11 times 11, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right. It's 121. So it's 11 divided by the square root of 9 is 3. 11 over 3. Alright? Now, do we have any space so under here? Let me just separate the work, not to confuse it with over here. So, what you have now is, remember, to keep the positive and negative there. 
what you do is subtract subtract 7 thirds from both sides so you have x equals 7 thirds minus itself on the left so you have positive and negative 11 thirds minus 7 thirds so in one case x is equal to positive 11 thirds minus 7 thirds and in the other case x is equal to negative 11 thirds minus 7 thirds so x equals up top, 11 minus 7 is what? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4 thirds is 4 over 3. And then up top here, 11 minus 7. Negative 11 minus 7 is what? 11 minus 7, that's 18. 18 over 3. Negative 18 over 3 is negative 18 thirds. Oh, but this is 6. So... 18 over 3 is 6. So it's negative 6 then. Right? So it's negative 6. So x is equal to 4 thirds. Which is 1 and 1 third. x is 4 thirds. And x is negative 6. So there we have our answer.